left for the LSU game. Are you any closer to settling on a starting quarterback at this point? Uh, if we were to play today, KJ would be the starter, uh, although I think Will's doing some really good things and um, uh, just had a good scrimmage. I thought they both looked pretty good. Um, obviously, you know, it's, it's a great scrimmage from the standpoint that uh, both sides have uh, some things to be uh, happy about, real happy about. Both sides got uh, uh, plenty to be pissed about. So. Uh, you know, but we've revealed uh, more work and more stuff to sharpen up on. But I thought it was a, a competitive scrimmage, and I thought, uh, you know, I was encouraged by it. Yeah, Gert's playing at uh, slot receivers. Looked pretty good. He's had uh, uh, had a touchdown uh, the two days prior to today. Uh, had a really good play today. Uh, the biggest thing is uh, just getting him tuned in and. Uh, you know, I think he's got to get in shape because there's a different type of shape than playing quarterback and receiver where you do all the running. But uh, no, he's looked impressive. He's got a sense of uh, space and routes, and uh, <clears throat> he's tough to bring down. So I think he's looked. Uh, I th I've been kind of impressed with the way he looked. Thought we were going to get him, a, uh, get him a, another touchdown today, uh, but we came off the read. We had him. And then had another one where I thought if he went faster, he would have gotten it. But uh, no, I've been I've been kind of impressed. Uh, good student of the game, uh, studies the game. Uh, uh, the other thing is, I think he's kind of a self corrector. Uh, he can correct himself between plays, not just between practices. You know, run a play one time, and then if you run it again, you know, he he, he can correct himself. He's he's good at seeing the field. Um, and, you know, and I think just uh, kind of understands what we're trying to accomplish and has really gotten his arms around that. And then, um, you know, we liked him on film and talked to him on the phone, but we hadn't coached him. I think really his, uh, the bigger thing has been his dedication with all the distractions as uh, he came through the door in, in January and was really ready to work, you know. What are your impressions of him, and how do you get him to take the next step? I don't know, but I would like to get him to take the next step. You know, I think that, uh, uh, you know, he is a guy that's occasionally great. We've got to get him uh, uh, more consistent and because uh, he really is a weapon and he's a talented guy. Uh, we've got to get him to play faster, and we've got to get him uh, uh, more consistent. You know, we've got to... He needs to kind of be in uh, attack mode, you know. You know, he's big and fast. Uh, the other thing, he's he's a, he's a really good blocker. He doesn't go out there and just bite a guy, but you know, it's, it's pretty tough for some of those smaller guys to work their way through the tangle of all those long arms he's got, you know, because we're only trying to stop their feet and get a few seconds, and they can't untangle him. Uh, very quickly, so I, that 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 aspect is good, um, and uh, you know, just uh, right now we're just seeing kind of previews and glimpses of what I think he can do. But the thing is, I think he can get acclimated pretty fast, and uh, you know, and a part of it's going to be, you know, just uh, getting him in shape, getting him in shape, and and then mentally, uh, so things are automatic out there because it's different to see it from back there at quarterback and then run it and feel it uh, at receiver.